was left to myself. I didn't have many friends in grade school, and I was teased on a daily basis for it. Teased for being a loner. Teased for being quiet. Teased for being so weird. This is when music became my everything. I would spend hours listening to my divas, my friends, Olivia, Stevie, Pat, Cher, and Barbara. Ah, hey, Barbara, there's a song, but it's still around. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. But you were my favorite. There were so many times when I would like sneak into my mother's room because she had this, this red velvet gown that I would slip into. <laughs> It had diamond-shaped crystals around the bodice, and a Nehru collar. And I would, I would dance around in my mother's room and belt out your tunes until one of the babies would cry. And I always cherish these moments, even though I felt guilty about wearing my mom's gown. My father felt guilty, I'm sure. I love my father, but he died so young, and I know he'd have protected me. People said horrible things about my father, but he was a, a wonderful man. A lot like you. <laughs> not all wonderful. I long not to be a loner any longer, and I'd already started drinking. <laughs> I think I started drinking and smoking by the seventh grade. I tried to do everything, <laughs> everything that my mother tried to make me afraid of. Which included skipping school to go drink Seagram 7 that I stole from my parents with my friends, Helen and John. Now, John and Helen's homes had less stringent rules, and I love that. We did things like skipping school and drinking on the New, ha New, Haven, Town Green, New Haven Town Green parking lot with drug addicts. <laughs> oh, a little scary. But to me, this was amazing and so much fun. <laughs> I was never afraid to do this or hang out with my friends in the projects in Ansonia where the black people lived. I was more afraid of home. When I entered high school, I discovered pot and football. Yes, I believe it was actually football first. That's what drove me to pot. <laughs> you see, I had something to live up to. Do you remember my big bro, the star football and baseball player? Well, my parents forced me to join the freshman football team, and I, I had zero knowledge of what or how to play football, and it showed. So much so that I was ridiculed by the very teachers and coaches that led my brother to greatness. Whoa, wow, you're a little bro? Oh, oh wow, you, you suck. Spoiler <laughs> around in my mother's bedroom in gowns and singing Judy Garland songs didn't translate well to the football field. <laughs> and very soon I was pinned with the phrase, Buddy Shay is gay. Buddy Shay is gay. Buddy Shay is gay. Buddy Shay is gay. <laughs> yes, that was something I need to address. I was born into an identity crisis. My real name is William T. Shea, named after my maternal grandfather. But his nickname was Bud. So for some reason, my family thought it the perfect idea to call me Buddy. So when I got to college, I got tired of raising my hand and saying my name was Buddy. So after 1987, most people know me as Bill. But my family still calls me Buddy, so now I go by BT. I was always confused. So there it was. I was tagged by the bullies, Buddy Shea is gay. Classic high school tale. I was bullied and picked on for being, at the time, perceived gay, knowing that I was, but didn't know what that was. And my low self-esteem didn't allow me to express my gayness in a positive way, so I had to cover that little issue up. So, amongst all this chaos, I decided to have a baby. Well, not decided, I had sex and then had a baby. I'll never forget the day that I skipped school at my friend Christine's house. It was the dead of winter. And me and Lisa, that's the girl I was dating, she was, uh, she was pretty hot. She kind of looked like salt, salt and pepper. And, oh, and I had the attitude as well. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely had the attitude as well. And there we were in Christine's bedroom while she was vacuuming outside the door. 
Um, we were drinking 7 7, smoking cigarettes at 10 30 a.m. And Little Red Corvette blasted through. We had sex. I was a mess. Uh, she was 16, and so well, I thought it was something at 13. Did I even do it right? I have no idea. I know I didn't enjoy it. And it was so quick. <laughs> I do remember having a conversation with Christine later that evening. You know, she could get pregnant. Not the first time. Little Red Corvette. <laughs> Baby, you're much too fast. I didn't kill her. <laughs> One this period later, and I was a daddy. I felt sick to my stomach 24 7, anticipating the phone call from Lisa's foster parents, and as expected, it did not go well. My Reds jumped into protection mode. Now, for my mother, that was beating the crap out of me, and for my father, that was threatening statutory rape should her family ever come for us. He was more upset and furious than I'd ever seen him, and I think that that was largely in part to the fact that Lisa was black and a biracial granddaughter wasn't in their plan. Lisa held on to the story that it could be someone else's, simply because of my parents' threats. And I think that she had the thought that my family would foster her with open arms. Oh, she picked the wrong family. Lisa was shipped off to a home for pregnant teens, and I made secret bus trips to go see her because, after all, I wanted to please everyone. There was never any blood tests taken, but my name was quietly put on the birth certificate, and that prompted a very speedy trip to Connecticut, the Hartford, Connecticut, to, to sign some papers. I was forced to sign papers saying that I would, I would take responsibility when I turned 18 for child support. I went through the motions, but I... I never felt like a father. Ashley, Ashley was born, and I never saw her. Lisa moved to another state. Mr. Mayor and my mother forced me to get a back door of abortion. I was under contract and had to work. There was no time for babies. It was frightening. So they shoved even more pills down my throat. One in the morning to wake me up, one in the night to put me to sleep, and one in the morning to keep me thin! I shoved pills down.